everybody. Welcome to another episode of United Falling Podcast. This is the podcast where four idiots, thank God it's all four of us this time, get to talk about whatever the heck we want to. So today we're going to be, oh my gosh. <laughs> you knew that was coming when he showed you the sparkling water. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Steven. This is Jason. Thomas. Oh my God, I knew you guys were going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, embarrassing stories, do-overs, and what was the last thing? Regrets. I don't know, it's your thing. You didn't even write Regrets. it down on the spreadsheet. That's right. My regret is you. <laughs> my, uh, yeah, my regret is meeting Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Anything and everything related. But, okay, the, the main reason why I thought of embarrassing moments is just like, because um, I, I recently had a newborn and just thinking of like all the funny things, oh, okay. right? So like uh, recently I bought like this PPTP. I, uh, I showed Thomas a picture of it and it's kind of like a, a sleeve that you put on the penis. And, um, and it's supposed to cover his P trajectory, but for some reason he penetrated it because it was so powerful and it like leaked all over his leg. So to me, that is an embarrassing moment for him that he'll never know. So that's the main reason I thought of it. So I wanted Did to you take that. pictures to hold it over his head when he's older. No dude, wrong head, man. It's, it's not on the head head. It's on the, well, I know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I did I did take a picture of the PPTP and I sent it to Thomas because I was like, "Hey Thomas, you want to see Channing's PP?" Yeah, I thought like, like little. Huh? Yeah, little when you said that, I thought you were just gonna take a picture of a puddle of pee. Like, <laughs> well, I was like thinking this is gonna be uh, not exciting, but um, show me a picture and then I saw this green triangle thing. I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> so. But anyway, so I wanted to throw it out to you guys. Like, what are some embarrassing moments that hopefully we've never talked about? I could start off by telling a quick story about when me and Jason and a few people went on a spring break trip to like Padre Island and we're telling <laughs> ghost stories. And it's oh, like yeah. middle of the night around a campfire. Hold on, hold on. I think you're leaving out some context. Oh, so we yeah. went we went camping. Um, I think it was called Mustang Island State Park. It's basically okay. on a big stretch of beach. Right, and right. And it's like really, really remote. Um, I think the closest town was like an hour away. Right. Uh, and when we went, there were not a lot of people. I think the next people were like a mile over or something. So it was basically us. It was like seclusion. Yeah, we were secluded. Yeah. But it was really nice, you know. It was very quiet. There's the beach sounds. Stars yeah. are out. But I, one of our group, um, yeah, was very spiritual, right? <laughs> yeah, I would say. He's, so. uh, I would say. He, yeah, he's very spiritually sensitive. So um, he always tells us about things he sees or has seen, and things that he's experienced. Yeah, and, and then, he was telling these ghost stories. While this heavy mist was coming over the ocean, at oh, night. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, it it legit like scared the shit out of me because right <laughs> after we right after we finished telling the stories, we were getting into our tents, and for some reason, I was sharing a tent with Jason, and and was it uh, a TP? No, it was <laughs> it was like a TV. it was like a four person tent. Yeah, it was a legit was, tent. Yeah, it was, okay, it was, it was really PPTP. big, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's not a PPTP. <laughs> a human size but, uh, yeah, in the middle of the night, I had to go to the bathroom, and uh, Jason had to hold the light for me, so <laughs> I didn't fall over. <laughs> well, this was after uh, we were just sitting around telling, well, he, listening to ghost stories yeah. for like like a few hours, nonstop, were, so... They were legit scary. Yeah, and then I remember, I remember he ended by saying, "Like, yeah, you know, I see spirits all the time. Actually, there's some sitting with us right now." So we're like, "What the fuck? Why would you tell us that?" And we just got really freaked out. 
<laughs> and he was like, do you guys sense like something, something? And I'm like, I felt the hairs on the back of my neck start going off. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. Thank you, Jason, for adding the context. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> Wait. Is this the one where you said you had a um, you had to ask J- Jason to walk away from camp because he had to take a dump? Yeah. No, no, no. So we walked to like a little inclined portion and I, I told Jason to hold like a camera light so that I, so that I, you know, uh-huh. I had light while I pooed. <laughs> I was like really nervous about falling over into the no, hole. No, I- it was, it was more lights to keep away the ghosts. Oh yeah. Maybe that's <laughs> it. Wouldn't, it wouldn't get you while you took a shit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So yeah, that was the uh, that was a really embarrassing but really funny moment. I felt very connected to Jason at that moment. <laughs> well, I was pretty freaked out too. I'm like, dude, hurry up! I can feel them getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what? There was a truck that drove by us, like, and I was like, oh my god! So I tried to pull up my pants. <laughs> and then so I dug a really big hole and I put a stick there, but then the next day the stick was gone. So I was like, oh. I don't know where not to step. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was a but yeah, that, that, that trip was fun, but yeah, that was very embarrassing for me. Okay, who's up next? <laughs> uh, Andrew, go. <laughs> dude, I have no embarrassing stories. I've never been embarrassed in my life. Your whole life is embarrassing. Okay, Thomas, go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was hilarious. <laughs> okay. My turn. Um, I don't know if I shared it already on actually even on this podcast. I'm pretty sure I shared it on the podcast, but uh, I'll just rehash it. So basically, um, recently, uh, probably a couple months ago, six months ago about, um, I was running. Um, oh. I had an evening run. Is this the like, one where you had to take a dump? Yeah. What? Is this the one where you had to take a dump in the woods? Yeah, it's a, it's a poop story. <laughs> Did I tell it? Did I share it with you guys? Yeah, you told this one. Yeah. Here on the podcast? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Tell us another poop story. Um, yes, tell us an even more embarrassing poop story. Oh, oh Thomas. Uh, yeah. Oh, never. Uh, oh, I shat my, you know, I shat myself. I shat my pants as an adult a couple of years ago. Wait, when? I, tell us. Give us a blow by blow. <laughs> I don't remember. But I'll remember I was like, <laughs> I got to, I'm going to, I just seen a fart. And I'm like, <laughs> and he goes, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, How big liquid. was it? Was it yeah, so solid it, or liquid? It was uh, solid. So it, was, oh, it wasn't it was a shark. It was an actual, like, yeah. turd. It was like a little pellet, like rabbit pellets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, like, it was like a tiny piece. Um, but, yeah, that's another poop story. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. Okay. So this was actually fairly recently. Okay. And, uh, so, you know, no, like, uh, when I, so I don't know if this, this is same with you guys, but when I'm like watching a long movie or like just sitting somewhere, not moving a lot, I pee a lot. Okay. Right. And so, you know, one, one night I was like reading one, a book and it was pretty late. Um, so I'm like, Oh, I need to go, I need to go pee. So I peed and then I went to sleep, but then like in the middle of the night, I had, I'm like, Oh crap, I have to go really go pee now for some reason. So I'm like, I'm like really groggy. Um, and then I didn't want to turn on the bathroom light cause I didn't want to like lose my sleep. Uh-huh. <laughs> so then I'm like, so we have a night light in the bathroom Okay. and I'm like, Oh, you know, I don't, I don't really need to turn on the light. So then I, I, I start peeing and I'm like, huh, it sounds different. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, so then I'm like, uh am i like am i missing so i like adjust and then it, like the sound changes so i'm like definitely not peeing in the toilet anymore oh, no. so then i'm like what the fuck so then i finish up peeing oh. then i like turn on the light and like i had pretty much missed <laughs> the toilet <laughs> what did you hit uh basically the floor <laughs> Which was really weird because I was like, I was very sure I was aiming correctly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm like, shit, shit, shit. So I'm like, I'm like, you know, cleaning up and, you know, thankfully it wasn't like the concentrated pee. It was like very, it was like almost like water, you know? 
Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so like so it, it is no. Yeah. Did you call one of your cats to like lap it up for you? No, no, no. <laughs> they they have standards. <laughs> oh, so you so you wiped it up before? Yeah, I wiped it up and bleach and yeah. You did all that bleeding. Be- <laughs> well, I, I was I was pretty awake after I realized what I had done. Uh-huh. I would too. So you defeated yeah. the purpose of what you're trying yeah. to do. Pretty much, because I've done that before. I've never missed. It was just that one time. It was just weird. Maybe it's time you start sitting down now, Jason. Uh, uh. Actually, you know, um, there's situations where like maybe like a third of the time when I'm going to the restroom, I'm thinking, okay, I got to take a, I got to drop a deuce. Yeah. So then when I sit down on the toilet, I'm ready to drop a deuce, but then it's just like a really hard fart. <laughs> and I'm like waiting, and I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, it's not. It's, I'm not dropping a deuce. It's just a fart. So I'm like, huh. So I'm kind of like uh, using the restroom like women because they always have to sit down and pee and fart. So I'm like, huh. I guess that's what it's like. It's tedious. Well, so sometimes, sometimes when you got a morning wood, sitting down makes it easier. Yeah, oh, yeah that way true. you're not like <laughs> like spraying all over the place. Yeah, don't don't do what I did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but like sometimes, like if you have a morning wood, you can't like really fit everything into the, like you know, you have to like. No, you gotta, you just gotta angle it, you know, like uh, lift your legs, jiggle your body around. Yeah. Okay, so there's a movie uh, called that that awkward moment, and uh, like there's a moment in the movie where uh, one of the guys has morning wood, so he's just laying down on the toilet, so it's. So he's like horizontal. Oh yeah, I saw that. I was like, "That is genius!" <laughs> wow. Oh man. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like in terms of uh, embarrassing moments, it's normally what do you? <laughs> it's no, it's normally bathroom things, right? Well, um, I did an embarrassing hmm. moment that Thomas put me in, and it had nothing to do with the bathroom. Okay, what oh. is it? Oh, what I do. Oh, so I was uh, coming to visit Thomas over spring break, <laughs> and uh, he forgot that he had class that one day. Oh. <laughs> so he sent me in to give an excuse to his uh, Japanese teacher that he was sick. So yeah. he's like, pretend you're my roommate and just tell her that you're sick. Uh, and I was like, okay. So I went in there, and I ended up getting chastised her by her for like 10 minutes in front of his class about how Thomas never shows up to class. <laughs> <laughs> he's in class or he's gonna fail. It's like Kwan-san, like, oh, okay. tell Kwan-san needs to come to class. He's a. Uh, I, I like how boy. like all of our stories are about us, but Andrew's the only one that's like, no, my embarrassing moment was caused by Thomas. Because yeah, Andrew, guys, you gotta uh, you gotta oh, share man. some juicy stuff. Yeah, man, we know you shart. <laughs> yeah, got any poopy stories? Yeah, yeah, we've already uh, lost our dignity. Now it's your turn. Yeah. But you had dignity to begin with? Well, yeah. not anymore. Yeah, we just lost it all. We're laying it bare. So join the party, Andrew. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah is it better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot better. better. Okay, continue. <laughs> Andrew, no, no. we know you sharded. <laughs> of course I've sharded. Like, yeah. Do you have like sweaty butt crack? Or do you have butt sweats? Oh, like, yeah. You know, and then, like, your pants here. are too tight, so it shows up. Yeah. That's nope. embarrassing. That's never happened. Oh, that's never happened. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I have one. I have one. Well, my, my whole life is pretty embarrassing. But, okay, this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was in, uh, I was in, I think it was, I think it was Germany. Because I went on this uh, marketing uh, trip to Europe. And um, we went to we went to this club because one of our professors recommended it. Like it's a really nice quote unquote bar. So all the students went to this bar, and then uh, we got there around eight p.m. And slowly, slowly, it got later and later. And a lot of the women started like funneling out, and more men were coming in. But we were like <laughs> all like dancing and having fun, anyways. And we were like, oh, the professor recommended it, you know, so there shouldn't be a problem. And then slowly, like, th- this one dude walked up to me and handed me, like, a flower. 
Uh-huh. And I took it and I was like, oh, that's really nice, man. I don't even know you, right? <laughs> and then an hour later, that same guy came back with another flower. And I was like, oh, it's a gay bar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, that wasn't very embarrassing. Maybe it was more like, yeah, man, this is the first time I got hit on by a gay person. It's quite you were, flattering. Um, you were <laughs> flustered. You I was flustered. I was. I, no, I, I will say this. I was flattered when I got the f- first flower. Uh-huh. But when I got the second one, yeah, I was I was flustered because I was like, I don't know what's going on here. And then uh, the guy I shared rooms with, he came out of the bathroom and he's like, all right, we need to go now. So <laughs> we headed out. And then the rest of the night, man, it was it was pretty cool because like we were we were both kind of drunk. So we were just trying to fight our way back to the hotel. And yeah, you know, it's like one of those nighttime adventures, like through a city you don't know. No one knows the language. We got like a, what you would consider like a dirty dog, but like a European dirty dog, I guess. But yeah. They have hot dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, oh. dude, it was good. It was because uh, it's Germany. So it's like schnitzel. Yeah. So yeah, they, 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 they make them thick and juicy. Yeah. <laughs> It has a lot of girth on their sausage. <laughs> yeah. Girthy sausage. You, you had to nibble more yeah, than like once. You would choke if you try to <laughs> put, you know, put it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gag reflex. Anyways, yeah, so I, I thought that was kind of like a fun bit. I thought it was maybe embarrassing when I was younger, but now that I think back at it, it was pretty funny. Do you think he uh, set you up like – sent you there and he told his his some of his connections like hey i'm sending you guys some fresh meat (laughs) yeah dude he sent he pretty much sent like the whole uh group like everyone that went on the trip ended up going to that club (laughs) so Uh, yeah even the including the the women yeah the girls went and then, uh-huh. like, later in the night, they slowly started to peter out. <laughs> like, uh-huh. How did they know? No, I think, uh, I don't know, actually. Because um, when the nighttime crowd showed up, like, me and my roommate, we didn't stay that long. It was pretty much, like, 30 minutes after. So I think a lot of the girls were still there. It was mm-hmm. just it was just so packed. I couldn't really see anyone. <clears throat> Did yeah. your friend ever say what happened to him to make him say we got to go? Oh, yeah. Uh, something happened in the bathroom. <laughs> did you ask him what it, what, what it was? Yeah, I, I did. But I feel like I should not like say I've yeah. got one about Jason. Okay. I'm oh, gonna... yeah. I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, just... Steven. Whoa. Huh? The, you go first because okay. I don't remember like the multiple holes. Okay. So you, you fill in uh, what I don't get. Okay. So basically, it's in the middle of the night, and then you start hearing beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, like when your uh, fire alarm battery expires, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, and then I just hear, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it coming from? Uh-huh. And then I, I walk into his room, and you just see Jason storming around. And then he stops in front of a wall, and he punches <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh and i was just like dude relax your your fire alarm battery is out yeah. and it's like well fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah since i already since i already punched like two holes in my wall before i knew how to patch it up so the next day i helped him patch it up and I think we changed the battery that night. I, I don't remember, but yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember we tried to fix the, the hole in the wall and it looked really bad. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think I remember it was like a different color. Like you guys didn't even get the <laughs> yeah. same color for the wall, right? Yeah, yeah, we couldn't. We didn't have the exact colors. So we just got the closest thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't know about paint. Did, yeah. Well, I guess that's another embarrassing story. The fact that y'all made me wrestle him. And then, and then, like, I was definitely. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, but the fact that, like, the second round, I obviously lost, but 
but PW was like, no, no, you survived long enough. Let's do a third round. And then the third <laughs> round, the third round was basically me together. and JD is on my back. Yeah. And I'm just like doing push-ups with him because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and, he, yeah. and then he destroyed me. Like, I was so embarrassed. Dude, you know, like those group of guys we all hung out with, we were like, we got like Way very aggressive. Huh? Way too like macho and aggressive. Because that's yeah, when like remember- UFC was like really like just starting to get popular. And so yeah. they all did jujitsu. We used to like hang out. And this is before y'all came. So the year before y'all came, uh-huh. we used to hang out at one of their apartments. And you couldn't leave the apartment until you wrestled everyone. <laughs> oh, that's how, how I ended up staying there until like four or five in the morning. Every oh single time gosh. I went over, I, like, I you feel like um, until you wrestled. We're all cool, we, yeah. we were a little too uh, hyper masculine back then. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I was like, this might not be the group I should be around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kept coming. Yeah. yeah, I know. I was like, well, maybe they'll make me a man. <laughs> yeah, we failed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I said, my life is embarrassing, but. Uh, <laughs> Dude, we didn't even get to like do overs and regrets, so we might have to do another episode on those. But um, really like quick, three. let's just do like a baseline. Um, I don't want to do do overs, but let's just do like regrets. Like, what is one regret? Let's just say in college that uh-huh. that you have. Let's just college. That's it. I, not I should have. Yeah, I should have. I could have uh, done so much better. <laughs> Yeah, I regret the major I had. Yeah. Oh, I, I regret yeah. like um, <laughs> I regret one of the girls that I tried to chase. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? One. Oh yeah, you're right. I regret most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were like a dick with like, not, not like with one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? You know what? That that is the one I regret the most because I was a dick. Like, yeah. Well, okay. So here's the situation, though, because she yeah. had a thing for you, but you were like, eh, nonchalant. You're like, well, you know, let's try it out. Uh, yeah, you were like, let's try it out, yeah. and plus, you're just having too much fun being in college and stuff. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls, I guess, were too much of a in your line of focus. <clears throat> yeah, because so. after that relationship, I had really bad karma. <laughs> You had to pay. You had to pay for all the crap that you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and let let me say like if if I had tried to put more effort and wasn't such a dick, things wouldn't have ended that badly as they did. Probably. So, yeah, I do was regret it that. Bad? I don't think it was that bad. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, it got pretty bad. Oh, maybe yeah, I don't remember. Bad. She would she would make fun of my grades. <laughs> <laughs> well, she she is actually pretty. She was, I know, she was, she, was like, hard, so. she was like super smart, and then she'd be like, oh, are you still making C's in your class? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, burn. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. She's actually doing pretty well, though. <laughs> okay, uh, that's my regret. Okay, you guys go. Yeah, I totally regret my major. Yeah. What was your major again? Biochem. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've literally done nothing yes. with it. Yeah, because after you graduated, you you went to like law school. Yeah, I also regret going to law school. That was a waste of time <laughs> and money. But I'm still you were there for, for like a year, and then day. you're like, yeah, yeah. Was it was it <clears throat> short? What was it only a year? Yeah, I only I was only there for a year, and then I dropped out. Oh, yeah. Okay, Thomas, what about you? Um, I think. I mean, yeah, grades, like, you know, studying. Oh, my God. I swear, I had terrible ADD, and I just had so much, like, issues. I could not focus worth my life. I failed so many classes so many times, and so many times over. But, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, today here, you know, I'm actually pretty successful. But um, I could have saved so much more time if I actually did well. Um, but That's so true. Remember yeah. all the times we just, like, skipped out on stuff and went to go watch movies oh my gosh yeah dude you know okay so here let me take that back then i don't regret not studying because i actually had a lot of fun time like hanging out with you and like doing stuff because like that was like my college experience but yeah i guess regret was like wasting the money 
you know, because my parents pay for it and stuff. So, yeah. You know, plus, uh, being just such a terrible son, flunking at classes, it just <laughs> it just sucks, right? It made me feel bad. You um, you know what's funny? <clears throat> like yeah. you know how Andrew had to uh, do the whole Japanese class for you in in California. Yeah. Well, I remember being your roommate, and you had Japanese class at seven a.m. And your alarm would go off for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then nope. I would always this is this is what I regret. I would always look down at your bed, and I'd be like, "Shouldn't you go to class?" And you're like, "Nap." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm such an I idiot. I should have been stronger with you, Thomas. I should have been like, go to Japanese class. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would have been a fluent in Japanese, man. Dude, you should have me go to class. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think you would have won that fight, Stephen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why I was just like, all right, just turn your alarm off. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually still have that problem today. Like, oh yeah, you got to buzz out my wife's name. But yeah, my wife is like, yeah, do not set your alarm early in the morning on the weekend you will never wake up <laughs> which is true yeah. i don't wake up that early <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, okay um yeah what about you jason yeah Jason. yeah uh probably not trying harder um and uh you know law school for me i feel like it helped me out but ultimately you know i didn't really need it but hmm, i don't know I'm glad you went I got a free desk out of it. You what? I got a free desk and chair out of it. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, you're welcome then. Yeah, for me yeah. it was worth it that you went to law school. Yeah, I Wait. think it was pretty cool. I got to visit your school and stuff, and so that was a good sight to see. And reason to go down to. Oh school. okay, yeah. I guess uh, I guess you guys got some benefit then. Yeah. yeah. And then you like came over and studied the bar over at uh, my place for a while. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. And then we like pan- pounded out that TV pilot script. Oh, Remember yeah. that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think that's another regret. Like, uh, definitely my major because I if I had done film, I would have aced that like so hardcore. Yeah, instead, probably yeah, dude. If I had done instead, art, huh? I would have made straight A's. Art? Yeah. Yeah, if I did art and visual design. Yeah, yeah you could have just gone straight know. into your career. Yeah, yeah. You know? career today. Yeah, I kinda wish I did like some business stuff. No, no. That that was the that was the seeds for me. <laughs> Dude, business uh, was so easy. I used to help my old roommate with his business classes and I was like, You don't understand yeah. this. This is either business or computer science. I I, I, would have been like, a, I think comps would have been more uh, practical yeah. for you because uh, yeah. like business, it's a lot of it's actual on the job experience. So yeah, um, yeah, it, it's too theoretical in a sense. Like, and plus a lot of it's outdated. Like a lot of the processes and theories yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but then comp sci is like so stereotypical. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you uh, wanted to be special. Like I'm gonna try the environment. <laughs> yeah, you still live in. Yeah. You still live in Texas, a state that doesn't care about the environment. <laughs> we care about the environment. What are you talking about? Yeah, I recycle. <laughs> we I like, I like wash out my milk cartons and uh, let it dry and then pop in and recycling. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, okay. and then we take that recycling and put it in a landfill. I, I, still, <laughs> I still don't know what recycling is. I'm like, uh, plastic, uh, this paper, baby, uh, whatever. Yeah, paper, paper works. Plastic is iffy. Yeah, but really? they just like that, ship it over somewhere. Oh, I, I read like a couple of places that um, recycling the recycling program nationwide actually doesn't work at all. It's like a red herring, apparently. Yeah, yeah. for plastics, I think for paper and metals yes. it does work, but oh. plastic is like the big lie. I see. Oh. All right, well, guys, thank you all for uh, joining me on this episode of. Uh, regrets and embarrassing moments. This episode uh, will definitely need to be heavily edited for names and initials, possibly. Good thing you are the one editing, Stephen, and we don't have Yay. to worry about it. Yeah, you enjoy but, uh, doing it too, so. Yeah, don't, you like to be punished. Yeah, don't pretend you think this is a burden. Yeah, oh, you yeah. like your punishment. You like yeah. it hard. I don't you know, man. <laughs> 
But yeah, thank you guys and uh, join us next time for another edition of the United Falling Podcast. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Bye.